What's up, y'all? It's your boy Keith. Went to the rack stores today. You want to know what I found? Then stay tuned. So I ended up going to the rack stores today. I called my friend. She was indisposed today. Her mother's birthday was today. So she couldn't hang out with me and eat wings today. She wanted to hang out with her mother. Fine with that. So I decided, hey, what's a better opportunity than to go to the rack stores and see if they're putting anything out? So instead of staying in this particular area where there's only one TJ Maxx, and one Bells and one Ross, I decided to go to Jacksonville, Florida, which is 45 minutes away from me, just to see what was going on. Yes, I did have my mask on, so don't think that I went without my protection. I had it with me. So, with that being said, the first store I stopped at was TJ Maxx, and that was in Fernandina Beach. And I actually found two fragrances there. Both of these I already had before. One of them I like it's okay the other one it smells good it just didn't perform well off of me but the first one I ran across was this Dolce and Gabbana the one gray and this is the EDT now I already have a big hundred and twenty or hundred and twenty five ml bottle whatever this is I'm not totally sure it's a hundred ml I'm sorry the regular, the one is the big one, the 125, but this is 100 ml. But I did decide to pick this one up and I gave my boy Trey Sense first dibs on this one. So if he wants to do a trade for something, I know he found Creed's Royal, what was it? Royal something. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I wanted to get my hands on it and he has some so if he wants to trade for a decant of that i'll do that or he can just flat out buy this from me and that's how that's going to go so that's the first one the second one is one i had before and it only gave me like 30 minutes of projection or longevity i should say and then it was completely going off my skin excuse me but the smell was pretty good. It has a pineapple note. And it is from Jimmy Choo. This is Jimmy Choo Man. And even if I don't get rid of this one, which is still in the cellophane, if I don't get rid of this one, then I'll just keep it and add it to the blue and the Jimmy Choo Man ice that I have. So that's the first fragrances I found. Or those are the first fragrances I found. So then I hit another Marshall's. I didn't find anything there. I think I went to another Marshalls after that one and I found nothing. Actually, I did. I found these AirPods in which I needed some new wireless pieces anyway because my other ones, they just aren't doing it for me. They won't stay in my ear. They keep falling out. So now I have these wireless ones that go around your ear and they sound pretty good, y'all. They're not top quality. They were only $25, but, you know, I don't think I have to spend a whole bunch of money on buying extravagant stuff and they get torn up or lost or it falls out my ear and gets stepped on or something and I won't feel as bad. So I got those. And then the last place I, well, the place before the last place that I stopped was the last Marshalls I got to go to. And... I found this, which is Eternity Aqua by Calvin Klein. If y'all can see it. It's weird angles here. Anyway, it's the aqua version. And this smells pretty good. I like this. It's aquatic. It's fresh. I don't, I'm not sure if that's some kind of citrus or is it some kind of fruity aspect to it. But this is nice. I like this. I'm not sure about the performance on it. I haven't worn it yet. It's my first time actually having a bottle of this. But I will do a review on this one also coming up late sometime soon. But the one I am most excited to have 
And I actually had a sample of this, a decant of it from Sam Broom. And this is from Robert Graham. This is Valor. And I actually looked over this. They didn't have much on the shelf. So the shelf is bare. And it's kind of easy for somebody to be uninterested when they're walking towards the shelf and be like, oh, they only have like three or four fragrances. So I'm not going to find anything. Plus, it was facing this way and not the front way. So I didn't really pay it any mind. I picked up the Eternity first. And then I walked away from the shelf and went around to an end cap and the opposite side of the shelving to see if they had anything there and nothing was there. Something up here was telling me, go back and look again. And when I went back, I turned this around and it ended up being this fragrance. And this is a very nice fragrance. And if you know nothing about Robert Graham, he makes some pretty good fragrances. Not a lot of people talk about this house. They have decent bottles, very nice bottle presentations. I'll show more of this later when I do a full review, but very nice fragrance. It smells fantastic. And I can't wait to give you guys the review on this one. So those are just some pickups I found today. Nothing extravagant. I didn't find any Creed or anything like that, but for the most part, those are decent finds for me. Especially when you find something like this that you don't normally see in a rack store every day. So, that's that. Now, I hope that the ones of you, my true subs, who have been looking and asking me for a long time now, hey man, you know, are you ever going to change your name? Or are you ever going to, you know, do this and do that? And I hear you guys and gals. I hear you. And as much as I was against it, I'm all for it now. So I will do some changes. As you can see, I have an intro now. Um, I will add a few little tweaks here and there. But I'm not going to be going all out like everybody else. I'm not. I don't have the time during the week to be doing videos like I used to. So you mainly only will probably see a video on the weekend such as now. So with that being said, I hope you all are enjoying these changes. Also, if you like the name change and the intro, let me know in the comment section what you think. It's your boy, no longer known as Mr. Cheap Sense. I'm just Keith now. And the name of the channel is The Fragrant Life. Here is Still to Smelling Great. Peace.